Tis the holiday season, and Vice President Kamala Harris is wishing her followers on X a happy Kwanzaa. The Vice President insisting she celebrated Kwanzaa as a long-standing holiday tradition in her family, even though it was invented after she was already born. For more on that, if you missed it, correspondent Christina Thompson live in our New York studio. She's got the <laughs> trip. Christina, good to see you. Well, like this tweet says, it's that time of year when Kamala Harris is forced to pretend that Kwanzaa was a long family tradition that she grew up with. Here's part of the vice president describing the holiday for her family. Growing up, Kwanzaa was always a special time. We came together with generations of friends and family and neighbors. There were never enough chairs, so my sister and I and the other children would often sit on the floor and together we lit the candles of the Kanara. Except it couldn't have been generations of this because Kwanzaa was invented in 1966 and Kamala Harris was born in 1964. So, when she says it was some deeply rooted event that her family with elders and countless neighbors came to, I don't know. I'm not so sure that it was the full truth because it didn't catch on until the 1980s. So Kamala would have been in her teens or her 20s, not some little child lighting some candles on the floor like she says. I'm not sure if she realizes that people see right through what she's saying. One person saying, I hate when she makes up these fake stories that never happened. This person made a good point saying this whole idea that we have to pretend to believe in and support things that aren't even real to begin with. It really screams of people's inability to see and appreciate and celebrate what is real, what we do have, and what we've actually accomplished. And this, she can just say happy Kwanzaa to those who celebrate it without having to make up celebrating it herself. Sean, Emma. Yeah, I th it just the insincerity of this administration. Believe what you hear, not what you see. I mean, it just continues uh, on here. Again, excellent point of when that came up. Again, it, it began in 1966, didn't catch on again until uh, decades later. All I saw was also on X, she eventually uh, was cooking for Christmas, and she did say Merry Christmas to all. And Good, she was I'm cooking glad. on a gas stove. So you know what we all love? trying to get rid of those? I thought so. Well, I can't keep up. That's why it goes back and forth. Uh, Christina does a great job of filling us in. Thank you very much, Christina. <laughs> Thanks,